Would you like to become a fascinating personality, break free from plateaus, and gain power over your mental resources and your full potential? You came to the right place. Welcome to a magical journey to yourself. This show is made in Germany. If you like the show, please subscribe on iTunes, Spotify, or PureMindMagic.club. Welcome to Season 1, Shaping Your Reality. And here is your host, international magician, speaker, and book author, Victoria Mavis. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a special edition of Pure Mind Magic. As promised for my birthday's episode, an interview with Prempton Batman from Canada. So you will hear in this interview what it is like to live as a real superhero and being out at night as Batman. He really is an awesome gentleman and has a lot of knowledge on mindset and also has a really amazing story and motivation why he is Batman every night. So in case you are listening at the moment to this episode, make sure to check out the video on YouTube. I will put a direct link into the show notes so you won't miss how he looks in his costume, how his cave looks, and he's showing us around as well to show his bed mobile in his garage. So a really interesting and different episode this time. Have fun listening to it. And as I said, make sure to check out the video of this episode as well. So lean back and enjoy the show. Here is for you, Prempton Batman. So good morning, Batman. How are you? Very well. Good morning. So in your time zone, it is still night. I can see that it is dark, but this is actually your time of work. Am I correct? You're correct. Right now, I've actually turned on a lot of lights so you can see what goes on. However, it is still dark outside. So cool. Maybe, can you show us around a little bit in your cave? Let's do that. So we are curious what you can show us there the workplace of Batman in the middle of the night. So you'll see that a lot of things in the Batcave, they really are very unique. Yes, we can see that. That looks amazing. And did you build and collect all of those? There's a lot of it that my hands are in, yes. Really cool. So, Xbox One. Yeah. So while you're showing us all of that, how did you came up with the idea to become Batman? I've been Batman for over 20 years now. The story of myself versus Bruce Wayne is unfortunately very similar. I have a parent that is not with us anymore. Oh, I got it. So can you tell us that moment that happened in your life where you decided to become Batman when you lost one of your parents? I can. My father, unfortunately, is not with us anymore. It turns out that when I was a teenager, there was an incident with my family And it's something that still haunts me to this day. One of the best reasons why I become Batman is because this is how I deal with it, both inside, with emotions, and outside. 
I totally understand. So I think this is really a unique way you pick there to deal with all the emotions because I'm sure everyone has to deal with some drama from the past and emotions, but I've never met someone like you who decided to become a superhero and actually help people out there and really living this life of Batman. So can you walk us through a little bit what your working day or more working night looks like, Batman? So nighttime for me is something, not only does it stay with the character, but it also really is myself. You'll find I am very nocturnal. Since I am up at night, I go out and patrol Brampton every night. You'll always find me out. Some find me, some do not. But I am out every night in Brampton, Ontario. All right. So you're out every night. And uh, what are you doing there? Can you share with us a story, something special maybe that happened one night and where you could really help someone out in the streets? The last very big experience, besides every smile that I, I can put on someone's face, it's a very big thing when you have a parent that stops their car, gets out, and says, there's Batman. But the last spectacular story was during one of the patrols. There was a driver under the influence. This is against the law. He was also driving without a tire on his rim. This creates a lot of sparks. So with a lot of sparks on the road, it makes a lot of noise. This is where I got engaged, ran after the vehicle, and once I caught the vehicle, I asked the driver to get out. This obviously attracts a lot of attention. Very shortly, the police are called, and when they showed up, you disengage and allow them to do their job. Oh, that is really a fantastic approach you have there, like uh, helping them and being there first and then hand it over to the police to let them do the work for you. So Batman, how does it feel like being out at night? What is your mindset that motivates you? What is your intention to really go out every night and help people be there and live this life? When I'm on patrol, there are many aspects that are facilitated. One of them is always a peace of mind when it comes to myself. Anything else is being a good citizen. Don't forget, being a vigilante is against the law. I make sure that I follow the law, I'm not against it. So being out there in a vigilantism kind of idea, a set, is not the right idea to do. It's also not safe. So keeping in mind that you have to follow the law, you're out there as a good citizen and for yourself. Hmm. I really like your approach and your attitude around all that. And I think it is really a tough job what you're doing there, like being awake at night, being out, working there, uh, creating, collecting all this equipment. Do you also work out like to be physical in a good shape to do all that? There is a regimen to work out. However, there's not a lot of time that I have to do that lately. Some would not believe because they say that I'm in good physical shape anyway. I'll take that as luck. That is nice. And can you also share with us maybe a secret when it comes to mental training, to mindset? Is there anything you do like train your mind? Do you have routines around it? Do you even meditate or what does help you to stay focused and productive throughout the day or night? The world of Batman and the world of my own, if you've noticed throughout my home that you've seen so far, is ninjutsu. In short, I am a ninja. This means that when it comes to your mind, and how you process things. It matters that you're able to work through any kind of mental blocks. 
so that you can actually be as effective as possible. Your mind is one of the strongest things you have on you. And when it works well, it works in harmony with the rest of your body. You're so right. And I also think that everything starts with the mind and with thoughts, because once you must have had the thought to become Batman, so it started with a thought. Absolutely. This matters when it comes to your health, your mental health, and to obviously you interacting with other people. That is so true. So, Batman, because I'm curious and I'm sure our audience as well, can you show us a little bit more of your special environment? Let's see what I can do. Perfect. And by the way, your costume really looks amazing. This helps to bring the same message across. So thank you. Yes. And you said before, your real identity is a secret and you will keep it secret, right? I certainly do. No one knows what I really look like. You might have an idea what my name is. That's because I've given it to the media. But my name and definitely what I really look like are unknown. Wow. I, as a magician, just love that because that is so top secret what you're doing there. And I think it takes a lot of effort to really stay under the radar, especially in today's world with social media and everything around us all the day. And uh, as a magician, it is our task to keep the secrets so that the magic stays alive, the art of astonishment. But you kind of doing something similar there. Agreed. I appreciate that. This is the office. Yeah, wow, I love that. That looks like a magician's office, kind of, or like in a Hollywood production office, maybe. Really nice what you got there. So for everyone who's listening at the moment, we see a lot of Batman costumes. It is black and... Nice. Yeah, so we have cars there, car model. A lot of things you collected there, Batman. These are one of the things that happen when I get started. Yeah, so you mentioned it was 20 years ago, so a long time, and you always kept on looking for new things and improving your equipment, or how did it go? The way it happens is if you stop looking for something, you end up finding a lot more than you expect. So this really isn't necessarily a very deliberate collection. This is more than 20 years of being in the right place at the right time for, to find some of the right things. Mm, that makes totally sense. And uh, Batman, before I started the record button, we were talking about that you are really a gentleman and how you behave, how you wrote me, how you are talking. And why would you say it is so important for men to really turn again into a gentleman? Being a gentleman these days seem to be a losing art. This is something that I'd like to bring back. When it comes to very simple things like please and thank you we need to remember we all it feel very good when we're all respected that is absolutely true and do you think because i'm sure that a lot of kids in your area and also far beyond that admire you and are fans of you but you also have the experience that you are admired by adults for your work and what you're doing it does happen and you will find that there are some adults that will mention these things these are one of the motivators these are one of the factors that make things very special it's a very good thing when you can impact someone's life positively 
Yes, that is so right. And uh, Batman, maybe you can give us a little glimpse behind the curtain. So are you like Batman for 24 hours or is there also like your secret identity who is out in the world having a normal day job or how is this working to connect both worlds? The best way and the most comfortable way that I can say that is you will find not only myself and Bruce Wayne to have very similar lifestyles. This is a t-shirt that was made by a fan. I got lucky. So I appreciate it. That's why I showed it. Yeah, nice. I think this is really good in, in whatever area you're working in when you get this kind of gifts from people and all the respect for what you're doing that this is really a good feeling and you know that you make a difference when you get something like that. Agreed. So, uh, meaning when I come back to my question in a normal day, you really are out in the world as your normal identity and no one knows that you're a Batman at night, like in the story of Bruce Wayne. This really does happen. Yes. I will admit you don't find that, um, I really can be in the, in the same vicinity as someone I've seen tonight and be and see them tomorrow. And they do not know it's me. That is true. So does it happen that someone really comes to your cave or do you really keep it secret and no one has access to that? Or do you have like a secret help, helper or someone that is assisting you and who knows your cave and the area you're in at the moment? There are very few people that do know who I am without the cape and cowl. However, I do work alone. As you've seen from the rest of my home, it is just me that's here. However, while I'm out, it is something that, yes, I don't wear the cape and cowl all day and all night. Just as the comic book states, I come out at night. Fantastic. I'm also really a night person. I think everyone has their special time, but of course for Batman, it must be night to be out there uh, in the dark, in the shadows and with your cape. And also because you're really living this and you have the mindset of Batman and also all these parallels with Bruce Wayne and the superhero Batman, uh, we were talking about Batmobile and you also have Batmobile, right? 